Yes. Well, good morning, everyone. Well, we welcome you back to the Lord's house this morning. We hope you had a good week. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is. Beautiful day. Well, since you're talking so much, let's go to the, the, the book of Mark. Gospel of Mark this morning. Mark chapter 1. We're going to begin a brand new series this morning. We've entitled the series, The Story of a Servant, and we'll kind of explain why in just a moment. Um, Mark chapter 1, verse 1, and we're going to be there in just a second. Um, I believe, or at least I think, perhaps this is the most, or when it comes to me at least, I guess, um, the most neglected book in the New Testament when it comes to me. I believe I preach less out of this particular book than any in the New Testament. I don't know why that is, but it, it is, so I thought I'd do a whole series of messages from the Gospel of Mark. Now, I, I don't know why we neglect it from, because it's really action-packed. It's, uh, Mark's direct to the point. He, I mean, he's boom, 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 boom. And um, I, I think you're going to find yourself captivated by the message of a fellow by the name of John Mark. Let, let's read Mark chapter 1, beginning in verse 1. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Make ready the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea was going out to him, and all the people of Jerusalem. And they were being baptized by him in the Jordan River, confessing their sins. John was clothed with camel's hair, and he wore a leather belt around his waist. And his diet was locusts and wild honey. And he was preaching and saying, After me one is coming who is mightier than I. And I am not fit to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I baptize you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Let's pray this morning. Father, we, we ask for your help this morning as we consider you. We pray, Father, for ears to hear, for a mind to understand, for a heart that is receptive and and for wills that will allow us to follow what you tell us and teach us here this morning. May your will be done in what we hear, what we think, and how we follow. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. In the